All right, on this uh, last trading uh, day of the month, we've been telling you how well stocks are doing. Gold just down a little bit today, but look at that. It's well over 2000 uh, bucks the ounce. Uh, Robert Kiyosaki was kind of paving the way for this type of activity. Uh, for, actually, for quite some time earlier this year when we had him on. He's back with us right now. You know him as the Rich Dad Company co-founder, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Probably one of the greatest uh, books I've ever read. Um, and not just be because it dealt with stuff about how your mindset starts and what you learn uh, from your parents and all of that. But anyway, uh, Robert, great to have you. Well, I'd like to say, Neil, that you and Oprah Winfrey uh, promoted my book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, before it was famous. So I thank you, and I thank you for always allowing me back on to uh, promote my unorthodox ideas like buy gold and silver and save gold and silver, not dollars. Yeah, so and that, thank book, you, that book, you know, years. was much bigger than gold and silver and all, but it, it actually was a mindset, but it really was brilliant, and it's an iconic book. I think it's been recognized as one of the greatest business books of all time, and that's cheapening it to say business books. But but anyway, let me get your take now on this market. We're, 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 we're going to finish a very strong November, I think even a strong one for, for, for metals, uh, for gold, and, and maybe to a little lesser extent silver. What do you make of it going into December and next year? Well, I think the biggest problem, Neil, is are the, we have the three stooges. You know, one in, one in the presidency, one in the treasury, and one at the Fed. And America is broke right now. And we saw that coming back in 1971, you know, Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard. And then this became uh, trash. And so they just kept printing and printing and printing. And all you do is look at history. Every time they printed money, the empire went down. And I hate to say this because... I, you know, I love America, but America is in serious trouble financially because of the debt load. The now, we've had that debt load today, a while, Bob, and I, and I know you've been worried about it. A lot of people said, yeah, I listen to Bob all the time, great writer, great thinker, but he's wrong on this. Look at our markets. Look at the fact that the world still invests in us. They buy all of this debt. You say what? Well, I say that we're turning Japanese, and I'm Japanese, so I can say that, you know. I mean, I don't know how Japan gets away with it. But anyway, I think it's kind of entertaining because, well, you know, in 1972, I was flying this thing, a helicopter gunship in Vietnam, hmm. and I flew behind enemy lines after Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard to buy this here, and I paid $50 for it, and today it's worth 2000 Wow. So ever since then, I've been a gold nut just because this is fake money. This is fake. But it's been around. That money's been around long. A lot of people are afraid of investing in metals and all. They could be part of the equation. They don't want it to be the whole equation. I'm just curious then, in this environment where it looks like inflationary pressures are at least coming off their highs, it's still it's not as if inflation's gone away, that, that – some people say is one of the things that hurts gold as an investment going forward. What do you say to that? I, I hate to say this, but inflation is here to stay. Incompetence is here to stay. And they're going to keep printing more money to pay for the debt. And we, unless we either cut back on entitlements or the military, which we won't do, I would, I would, I would rather have this gold than this they can print. What do you think of real so, estate? You know, what do you think of real estate? Inflation. Well, it's got to be well managed, as you know. Real yeah. estate, with a, is, again, is debt. What's the debt debt factor? So I bought my, most of my uh, real estate is floating at 3%. I feel for the person trying to make it float at 7 or 8 mm. You know, it's tough. So the worst part about it is, is our national debt. We're bankrupt. And why don't we say that? We just can't keep printing more money to pay it off. And that's really the problem. We just keep printing money to solve our problems. But we can't go on much longer. All right. We'll watch it closely. Bob, always good seeing you. Robert Kiyosaki, the Rich Dad Company co-founder.